Today, we will talk about investment vehicles, explanation and types. An investment vehicle is a product used by investors to gain positive returns. Examples of investment vehicles include low-risk options like certificates of deposit and bonds, and higher-risk options like stocks, options, and futures. Other types of investment vehicles include annuities, collectibles, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. Investment vehicles refer to any method by which individuals or businesses can invest and grow their money. Many investors choose to hold multiple types of investment vehicles in their portfolios to minimize risk through diversification. The different types of investment vehicles are subject to regulation and each type has its own risks and rewards. Deciding which vehicles fit particular portfolios depends on the investor's knowledge of the market, skills in financial investing, risk tolerance, financial goals, and current financial standing. Ownership investments include stocks, real estate, precious objects, and businesses. These investments are based on owning particular assets that are expected to grow in value. Lending investments involve allowing one's money to be used by another person or entity with the expectation of repayment, often with interest. Examples include bonds, certificates of deposit, and treasury inflation-protected securities. Cash equivalents are financial investments that are as good as cash, such as savings accounts or money market funds. Pooled investment vehicles involve multiple investors pooling their money to gain certain advantages. Examples include mutual funds, pension plans, private funds, unit investment trusts, and hedge funds. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Investment vehicles are used by investors to gain positive returns on their money. 2. Investment vehicles can be low risk, such as CDs or bonds, or high risk such as options and futures. 3. Other investment vehicles include lending investments, such as bonds, CDs, and TIPS, cash equivalents, and pooled investments, such as pension plans and hedge funds. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.